Hey foodies, I'm Priyanka and welcome to my chef at home. Start your new year with ray of sunshine. Today I'm gonna show you veggie sunflower pizza with homemade pizza base. It is easy to make and delicious in taste. There was a time when I used to make pizza at home with ready-made pizza bread. But after making breads at home and finding out they are way better than the outside ones, I make even the pizza base at home now. So let's get started. My homemade pizza dough. I have also posted video on how to make pizza dough at home. You can see the suggestion card on the top of your screen. For toppings, we will require onion, red bell pepper, yellow bell peppers, cherry tomatoes, fried cottage cheese, cornmeal, pizza sauce, oregano, red chili flakes, cheese, and salt. Divide the pizza dough into two halves. Spread some cornmeal on your work surface and roll your pizza dough in 9 by 9 inch disc. It should be little thin than your regular pizza crust. Now grease the baking tray with butter. Now place the pizza base on your baking tray and spread the pizza sauce. Now spread onions. If you want, you can use your favorite vegetables for the toppings. Now I will put some cherry tomatoes, yellow bell peppers, some red bell peppers, add some fried cottage cheese and season this with salt, red chili flakes and oregano. I will sprinkle some shredded cheese, roll the other dough to 9 by 9 inch disc, put it on the top and seal the edges with the help of fork. Place a small size bowl in the center and press it lightly. Give cuts to make petals so that it should look like a sunflower. Twist the petals as I'm showing you in the video, and this is the most crucial step in the sunflower pizza. If you want, you can give egg wash, or if you are vegetarian, you can give milk wash. Spread some extra cheese and preheat your oven and bake the pizza at 240 degrees Celsius for 20 to 25 minutes. If you are using microwave, bake it at 250 degrees Celsius for 20 to 25 minutes. It took 25 minutes to bake it perfect. And here we go. Homemade one tastes much better when we compare to store bought pizzas. Do try this recipe and be sure to take pictures and tag it on my Facebook page. Thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to share and subscribe my channel on YouTube.